So like I said, we won't be using WordPress or any other content management system. We will be using MobiRise. So you could type in MobiRise, M-O-B-I-R-I-S-E, and it's MobiRise.com. And if you're on Windows or Mac, choose the appropriate one and download that program and install it on your computer. And this is a self-sufficient um, external program that resides right on your computer. You easily can make a landing page or a, a rather lengthy one-page website and then basically just publish it right to your, your web host. So here we are. We can either choose to create a new site or edit this one that's included. And um, I'm just going to edit this one. I'm going to change the site name to my test site, click OK, and they have a lot of stuff already in this uh, kind of starter template uh, ready to go. So here I'm just kind of fast forwarding here. I'm changing the heading, the color, um, just to kind of show you uh, how easy this really is to, to change this stuff. And there you got your settings little bo uh, box right in the top right. Uh, you could change everything. It is so easy to use no coding any kind of uh, coding experience necessary and you can just go through and and change whatever you want um, i would highly suggest to you know write out and draw out what you want in a website before you do any of this and and then it'll just make the development process so much easier so here i am copying a youtube link and because I want to put this YouTube video right in there, so there's a box for the link. I just pasted it in there. I'm going to set it to autoplay, uh, change the background image there, and uh, and there. I got a YouTube video embedded right in my web page right there. Um, there, subscribe to the newsletter. I just changed the, the destination email address I wanted to go to. If you want to add more sections right there in the bottom right, you're going to click that plus mark. And there's all these different sections that are already done for you. They will automatically add to the bottom. Um, and then you can move them around wherever you need them. So here's a nice photo gallery. I just removed one of the thumbnails. I'm going to add a new one for my computer just to show you how easy that is. Uh, here's another section I'm going to add and some other sections. Here's a map, nice Google map. You could change it to whatever address you need it to be. Um, there's a nice little heading. Oh, I added, I added two of them. So I want to remove that. I'm going to click the trash can, delete it, confirm it. Yep. I want to delete that. And there, you just got some, some basic headings and sections in there. And now I'm going to go to the top right and click publish. I'm just going to publish the folder right to my home page or right to my um, desktop. And now we are going to open up FileZilla. And remember, I told you to keep those that information handy. So the server or the host right there, ftp.tonymjr.com, um, whatever yours says, I'd put that right in where the host is. Change the login type to normal. There's where you type in your username. Go ahead and, uh, and enter in the password that you that you entered in to, to sign up for your account there. And then you might have to change um, the encryption to use plain FTP. You might not have to, but um, if it's not connecting that, you know why. Um, and then go ahead and hit, hit connect. Then you're going to want to go into your public underscore HTML folder. And I have multiple websites in my account, so I'm going to upload the whole folder. But if you don't, I'm assuming you, you're not going to have that. So you're going to go into your public HTML folder and then open up that file that you exported your desktop and copy the assets and the index.html file and drag it right into your public.html folder in your, your hosting. That's where you're going to want to upload all your files. And I'm just going to wait to do this here. And here we go. We're going to drag these over. I'm going to just upload the whole folder, but you're going to drag over the, the assets folder as well as your HTML dot or your index HTML folder right in there. And uh, depending how many sections you added, you know, there could be more files. I think here I just had about 40 or 50 files. All right. Now they're all done. And since I added it in that other directory, I'm going to go to my domain name slash website one. And here we are. My website's live. It's on the Internet live. And you saw how, how quick, 
how much time that did not take to do. I mean, it's so awesome. Obviously, you're not going to want all of this pre um, published stuff in there. You're going to you're going to want your own folder gallery and you might want your own images and and you're going to have to change the map location and all that stuff, but all that's easy. I just wanted to make sure you knew how to set up and set up your hosting and your domain name and that FTP program so you can upload this. And then just going back and editing is super easy. So after you do have your website on, to change it, you're going to just go back in your Mobirize application on your computer, make sure you have that saved. And then when you want to change it a week later or whatever, you're going to open it back up. You're going to make your changes. You're going to publish it again. And then just overwrite the over write those same files, um, that assets folder, as well as the index.html folder, right in your, your hosting account there. You're going to just overwrite the, override those fold, uh, folders and files and, and your updates will take uh, effect immediately. So it's so easy to do. Um, it's really fun to go through and just look at all those different sections and features and, and, uh, different add-ons that you can add on to your page there and um, and just experiment. So, you know, whatever you need for your site, you might only need one section or you might, you know, choose to utilize 10 of them. So whatever you really need, um, you know, you can easily turn this into a landing page where just like you're looking at right now, I mean, you can just have your, your one pager be that and it could just be directing people to sign up for your email list or or download uh, an ebook or your, your digital product or, or to buy your book. Um, you know, the, the possibilities with this is, is endless. So um, it's just so easy to use. You don't have to set up a database or anything like that. And you can just have your website online, especially if you only have a one or two pager. I mean, you see how, how quickly you can get this online. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to, to leave comments or email me at t at tonymjr.com and make sure to use that link below to get your your special coupon for your website hosting at only $2.95 a month uh, clicking that link below but uh, again if you have any questions feel free to comment or email me and thanks for watching